Hi guys, it's Carletta from Body Candy and today I am going to be showing you how I am going to be making bath bombs using this cute stainless steel little cupcake cookie cutter. Now usually guys I make bath bombs with cookie cutters but usually it's like the little plastic ones that you may get from Walmart like I got this unicorn one from Walmart. They seem to be a little bit more easier, especially if you're just starting out. It's something about the release of the bath bomb when you use these um, cookie cutters that's much more easier. But today I got fancy and I was like, you know what? I am going to try to make a bath bomb using this. So it's my first time. We're going to do it together and we're just going to see how it turns out. So here I have my pink mix. And I have um, my white mixed with my sprinkles in there. No mind this. I use this to um, to mix up my bath sauce. I kind of grind them down. Like if you don't want to just throw them in like a mixer or something, you can just manually grind them down. I got this for like two dollars out of like a regular little um, pharmacy store, and um, that way the bath bomb isn't as heavy because you can grind down the salt, so they're more like a um, a powdery kind of mixture, kind of like the mix without it being too heavy because we want these to float because they will have embeds inside. Let me turn my camera a little bit. Okay. So now usually what I do is I take some baking soda and I take my brush and I brush around the mold. Even if it's a plastic mold, I just brush around. It kind of helps the bath bomb release if it's too sticky. So usually that works and it rarely gets too sticky, but just in case it does, you just put a little bit of um, baking soda and that's for anything really. Baking soda is really a great low-key lubricant to bath bombs. I don't know what it is, but it really works. But if you don't have a little handy-dandy little brush like this, um, you can always just dust it with a paper towel, and, you know, you should be good. My area is dusted. Everything is bleached. My hands are super clean. I have no gloves on. This is just me making them. It's my first time. I'm trying them out, so I will not be selling these just yet. Um, so I have my embeds here and I'm going to get started. Now, um, my mixes are different. This mix here has SLSA in there. This mix doesn't. This is a plain um, two to one, two cups of baking soda, one cup of citric acid. I have um, my oils in here, which I'm only using um, lavender because I'm doing seaweed and um, balsamic and fern and um, lavender salts and they're really strong so I don't actually need a fragrance oil that kind of the um, salts are kind of strong enough you don't need anything else other than that and um in my spray bottle my little dollar store spray bottle I got 91% um, alcohol um, and I have like a teaspoon of water in each after I'm done mixing because that's just something that I do I don't know maybe you don't your mix is good but um, it's just something that I like to do. And after I make my mix, after it's sprayed, I like to let it sit for a little while so some of the liquid can kind of evaporate. Well, some of the alcohol, I'm sorry, can evaporate. Also, when you're using um, sprinkles or anything like that, you always want to make sure you try to add them to the mix um, after you already bonded your mix. Once your mix is binded, then you add in your, your sprinkles or whatever it is that you want to add in. To your bath bomb because you don't want the colors from the sprinkles or anything to bleed so make sure you add it afterwards and not before and then you want to spray your alcohol it's going to ruin the whole batch so now that i've talked you guys heads off <laughs> i'm going to get started uh let's see let me make sure you guys can see me all right so first thing i'm going to do is which i did not get ready yet i'm going to get a spoon let's spray this down it's a spoon, a nice plastic spoon, and I'm going to start putting my mix in. I'm going to bring you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I hope it's good for you guys. All right, first I'm going to take my pink mix, and I'm going to put it down the bottom. And you want to make sure that it's all the way down the bottom, and you can use the spoon to kind of bring any pieces down that didn't make it because you want a nice clean pink level. Do the pink first, nice level of pink, and then you add in, excuse me guys, <laughs> then you add in the white. I hope my arm isn't in the way. I guess I should move this over. You add the white in next. Gently put the white in and just pat it down a little bit. You see that? 
pat it down a little bit, press it down a little, and then you take your embeds, whatever you use, and you kind of stuff them in. I may have put these in a little early, but I'm just trying to get them in the corners as much as I can. Because I wanted to kind of shoot out, like, right out the cupcake part. So I just stuff them there. Like that. And then I continue on doing my white. Because then you can always put the pink in afterwards. And you just pat it, making sure you get into all the little parts of the bath bomb. But so far, so good, guys. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I kind of put my finger there, kind of make it a little line. I want the white to be perfect. And if you're afraid of the mix from the white getting mixed in, just take your spoon and just start packing it in afterwards. But that's what I have to do anyway. See how I'm spreading that around? I'm trying to make it as easy as I can. Which makes it fun because then it really looks like a little sprinkle cupcake. And that's the look that we're going for. Go all in the corners. Now, it's because I've been making these for a while, it's hard to say what's the right level to pack them at, but you will feel the pushback on it. Like if it's too, like once I get done putting this on, you'll see. If it's not thick enough to cover the whole cookie cutter, like the mix, then you just go back in. Because it's really hard to tell when you're just adding it in like I'm doing right now. It's kind of hard to tell. So I think that might be it. I want to cover some of that pink from there. Oopsie. And then you dust off your hands really well. Use like a paper towel. To make sure there's no pink on there. And I'm going to press it down. Just like so. And even with this, I can feel that I probably could put some more mix inside because it feels a little dense. But we want to see before we go any further how it comes out. And guys, I have like this flat little piece too that I probably could have used to smooth this out. But we'll see how it works. I have no idea, guys. No, no, no idea. And there you go. Your first cookie cutter bath bomb. Ooh, this one looks like it's ready to fall out the mold right now. I'm not even done. <laughs> Not even done pressing it. You just press it all around. Really good. But the next one that I do, I will put more mix, fill it all the way up to the top. And then, I'm trying to see, guys, if I can zoom in for you. When I release it, turn it a bit. These darn things are so tricky. Bring it in. That's out the way so you can see. And you make sure you have it somewhere where you won't have to move it for a while. And voila. There is your cupcake cookie cutter bath bomb. It's so cute. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I love it. All right, I'm going to back you guys up some. And there you go, if you can see it over there. And we're going to start again with the pink. Pink down. And like I said, with this next one, I'm going to make sure I put more mix inside so it can come all the way to the top. And then that's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's not really hard to do. The only hard part is trying to get your lines perfect for your next batch color, which would be the white. That's the only thing that's tricky about it. But everything else is pretty easy. And once you get used to it, you'll be buying cookie cutters. Like, I have so many cookie cutters, guys. It's not even funny. Like, I have a crap load of cookie cutters all over the place. Because, And then I also use them for um, soap making also. Like, I'll use the shapes to cut out soaps in my melting pours. Soaps. So, it's like a double win. But some um, 
cookie cutters are hard to do when you're trying to mold them. So I don't get too fancy. I think this might be really, really, really um, complicated for me because I would never get something with so many little points and stuff in there. It's kind of crazy. But for right now, it seems to be working. So I am loving it. Now, I am new to embeds, guys. Uh, <laughs> I am doing my best to learn more about embeds, their placements. I've been following my wonderful friend on Facebook um, at Gail's um, advice and stuff on Facebook. I have to put it down. I forgot. If you're watching, Gail, I'm sorry. I'm kind of tongue tied. <laughs> so I have to give you guys a link. But she is awesome and she's very inspiring and she really pretty much gave me more confidence. I thought I was confident in making bath bombs, but you know, her techniques as far as her bath bomb making and her placements of her um her embeds and all of those different things, it just kind of makes you just want to just learn everything. It's just it's so fun to watch and it's so much you can learn from watching her. And um I just love her to death. <laughs> Shoot, I just love her, love her, love her to death. So, with the next one, put that on here. And she actually was making um, embeds. She sells colors and all of that for your bath bombs as well. All right, so, this is the next one. Like I told you guys before, I'm going to try to pull them all the way up to the top so that... Um, I can have a nice full cupcake instead of the little flat one. So now I'm going to press it down. Yeah, that one's much better. Much fuller. Oh, I forgot to clean my hands. Oh, no. Before I press it down, if you don't clean your hands before you press it down, whatever color you're using last will end up in your white. And I hate that. So I'm going to just go back and just sprinkle some more white on here. Try to get it more frosty. I don't want no pink up the top if I can help it. And then that's all you gotta do. Just clean it up. Just like that. Now I'm hoping that these flow. I really, really would hate if these were sinkers. I, I but I don't know. I really am not one of those people. I'm guaranteed that this will flow. I have no idea. Whenever I make a bath bomb, Either it floats or it don't float. When it floats, I'm so excited. I'm like, yes. And then when it doesn't float, I feel like a little defeated. But the bottom line is, as long as it's a good bath bomb, you should just be proud of your work. But when you have embeds and different things, you just really want them to be fabulous and you want them to float. And when they don't, oh, such a bummer. But then you're like, well, I still got a cool bath bomb anyway. So <laughs> no big deal, I guess. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. Put a little bit more white on there to cover up some of that pink. Because sometimes it may be the other color or it just may be the sprinkles that's giving the color off. But to be on the safe side, I want to cover it up. It makes me crazy to have any extra colors on here. There shouldn't be. All right. Now with my recipe, um... For my recipe, it really doesn't make a difference. I think the only difference that it makes is the percentage of alcohol that you use, your mix, different things like that. I guess it's all up to you. You can try your recipe with this, um, but like I said, it's all up to you and what you feel confident in doing. All right, so I'm going to unmold this. This time I'm going to bring you guys up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I had to take the phone off. And you just... Light it up. And there you go. Perfect. And if it doesn't, like this one here, I need to throw that back on for one second and fix a corner. You can just slide it right back on, press down, or add more mix or whatever it is you need to do. Sometimes it doesn't catch all the corners right. Press it down. It's like Play-Doh. And you just start again. You see? And that's how. 
So guys, I'm going to finish making these little cute little cupcake bath bombs. And I just wanted to do another video. I know it's not the best video for the technique, but it's a start. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will be doing a, a demo of how these actually turned out when I, um, well, once I get situated and they dry and all of that. So you guys can be able to see how they turned out. It was a little sticky. All right, guys. Till next time. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, let me know. Please keep negativity to a minimum. All press is good press, but I would particularly love if everybody just keeps it clean and respectful so I can keep making wonderful videos for you guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.